Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, I want to say thank you and welcome to my channel. This is Stella Zoom where all things go down, okay? All right, so today I am going to be doing a highly requested video, which is Ghana Shuto or um, Black and Stew. And so let's dive in. Oh, and I have a guest here with me to do my Shuto. This is my sister, okay? We are not twins. No, guys, we're not twins, okay? She's two <laughs> years older than I am. Yeah, so I'm let's there. dive in, okay? So to make my Shuto, I have, you're gonna need onions, okay? Lots and lots and lots and lots of onions. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six uh, mixed, which is I have large and medium sized onions. Onions in here, okay? You're going to need shrimp, smoked shrimp. You can always find these in the African store. I try to buy the powdered ones, but I don't know. If it says uh, made in China, please run away from it. Don't buy it. And I have my dried fish, um, which is, um, it's called what, herring. You can also get this from the African store. I have lots and lots of ginger. I will put all the quantities that I'm using in the description box. I have uh, four garlic cloves. You can mix them medium and large. I have powdered pepper, because it's blackened sauce and it's very spicy. So I have my blackened pepper here. I have my shrimp bouillon that I'm going to use. I have salt to taste, and one of the also main ingredient, which is tomato paste, okay? So I have my tomato paste here. I have um, one, two, three. These three are 18 ounces each, and this right here is 12. about 12 ounces, okay? So if I need more, I will add more, but I am going to walk you through the process, so stay tuned. All right guys, so I am going to go ahead and blend this, but before blending um, the onions, ginger, and the garlic, I'm going to um, chop up the ginger, um, the onions into like smaller chunks so that it will be easy to blend. And I'll do the same for ginger as well. And then I'll mix in the garlic, I'll blend everything, and also shito requires you to use a lot of oil, okay? Four to five cups, four to five cups. We're going to add more if needed. So just buy yourself like a, a gallon of oil and just cause um, shit talk course for like a lot of um, oil. You can use any oil of your preference, but I'm using vegetable oil. You, you can use any kinds of oil, not palm oil, not olive oil. So I'm using vegetable oil. If you want canola oil, you can use it. So let's get started. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, what I did here is I blended the onion, the garlic, and the ginger all together, okay? And um, when I blended it, I did not add any water. So do not add any water because you know onion contains water, ginger contains water, garlic does, and um, that will blend easily. Do not use a food processor because I don't know if your food processor can blend. This is like, my husband said it's like baby food. It's like smoothie, puree, like... No lumps, nothing in it, smooth like a baby's butt. <laughs> so this is it right here. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the oil, okay? All right, Priscilla. So the oil, the hot, the, the oil is very hot. All right, so I'm gonna bring the um, heat to about, like I would say, a seven. And what we are going to do right now is we're going to let an onion cook in the oil, sort of like fried in the oil, so that there's no liquid, you know? You want to get rid of every liquid that came with um, the onions and the garlic and the ginger when you blended it. Remember, we did not add any water. It contains water. So we want it like simmering, you know? When you simmer something, you want to get rid of all the excess liquid. So reduce that is what I, Reduce it. So that's what I am doing. More oil. So we are going to be adding, of course, for more oil. So I have my um, vegetable oil here. I'm going to be adding probably two more cups, right? Mm. Two more cups. So w when you make sure you can, this is like, this was like a full like gallon oil, okay? And look at how much we've used so far. We've used half already, so. I'm going to put, my chef wants me to put the heat up and make sure when you're doing this, your head is covered because shito is going to, girl, you're going to smell like food, okay? You're going to smell like Ghana after everything is done. <laughs> so make sure your head is like covered, you, you have on clothes that you don't usually wear. 
And yeah, and this is my sister. She taught me most of the things that I knew, I, I know, you know, but now I can do better than her. Right? You're like, <laughs> yeah, right. Can the student do better than the teacher? Exactly, right. But in my case, it might be true, because she loves my cooking, but, So what I'm doing right now is I am blending the fish. Um, I'm not adding any water, you know, because when you mix it all, you have to make sure that the ingredients is as dry as possible, okay? So with the fish, this is the consistency you're looking for. It's very dry, no water, and it's very powdery. So that's the fish. I'm going to move on to my shrimp. Okay, so as you all can tell, right, I have two bags, but I'm only using one bag of shrimp for my shito, and this is the shrimp here. I bl I blended it in my blender. Yep. All right, so we are moving on. So this is the consistency you are looking for before adding the tomatoes. Okay, so the onion cooked for you know, um about 45 to 15 minutes. So see, it's like golden brown. It's like golden brown. That is what you're looking for. So I am going to go ahead and add the tomato paste. So I used the, um, the three cans, which was the 18 ounces. I used um, three of them. And then the 12 ounces, I just used um, about half of it, okay? I didn't use the whole thing. So I'm going to be adding a little bit more oil. All right, so I added, um, I added basically like two more cups of, or I'll probably say, th I would say three cups of oil to that. When you make it, when you make it, it will be prepared to have a gallon of oil because you might end up, depending on, on the quantity, basically I'm making like a lot of shit oil, so that requires a lot of oil. Alright, so our onion, our tomatoes has been cooking in our sauce for 20 minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and add the pepper, which is powdered pepper. So this is one tablespoon. Nine. So that's nine tablespoons. Of powdered pepper. Okay, so the pepper. Okay, so the shito. Okay, it's called shito for a reason. It's very spicy. It's supposed to be spicy, but you can you can always adjust the spicy the level of spiciness. Okay, if you don't want it too hot, you can um, reduce the um, amount of pepper you put in. If you want it very hot, you can always increase. So what I am going to do is I'm going to taste it to see if the pepper that I put in the um, in the sauce is um, enough for this, the, the spicy level that I am looking for. And then 11. So guys, I am going to go ahead, after adding my pepper, okay, for about two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add the fish, the powdered fish. And then the shrimp. I'm going to add the shrimp. All right, guys. So I'm adding two um, shrimp bouillon to the sauce. I'm trying to break it up. And so after this process, after adding in the fish and the um, after adding the pepper, the um, fish, the shrimp, and the um, shrimp bouillon, what I am going to do, or what we're going to do, is we're going to leave it on the stove. Um, on low heat, which is we have the heat at the four and we've had the heat on four like since we added the tomatoes Okay, so we are going to do that and cook that for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes It depends on how dark you want your sauce. Okay, if you want it very dark You extend the time, but make sure the heat is on low So it cooks really nice and slow because if you put it on high heat It's going to get dark very fast and it's gonna burn and it's not gonna take, mm -hmm. taste good so yeah, and at this point too, you can go ahead and add salt to taste. So I'll be right back. Let me add my salt, my salt. Okay, so I'm adding a teaspoon of salt. 
and taste before you add any additional salt okay so I'm adding an extra um, teaspoon of salt again to it so that makes it two um, teaspoon of salt so our 20 minutes is up um, for the shito and it is good to go if you if you want it a little darker go ahead and extend the timer on there you can add about probably I'll see our 10 or 15 more minutes and make sure your heat is on the lowest setting as possible okay but ours is um mine is ready I like it like this color this consistency all right so that is the shit off for you all right so talking about storage okay for the shit off you can use a mason jar or a recycled um, peanut butter peanut jar you know when you buy the peanut from the store the jar that it comes in if you don't throw yours away you can always like recycle it clean it and then keep your shit off in here or talenti yeah or your ice cream containers and um, yeah so you can use a refurbished or um, recycled container so storage let me you have to let this cool down before you um, start um, putting it in your jars so for storage shit talk can basically stay in the fridge for like a year okay you can you don't have to don't freeze it don't do it don't, that's not cool mm -mm. it will alter the taste okay so but you can keep it in the fridge for up to like an um like a year i have kept my last shit i kept it in the fridge for a year and it was still good so this is the thing when you're about to like scoop anytime you scoop shit or out make sure that the spoon you are using to scoop the shit or out is dry it's not like it doesn't have any traces of water on it because that can um, mess it up that can um, make the shit to go bad very fast and also oil okay so when I'm about to dish this up I'll probably add about one and a half or yeah I'll probably say one and a half cup of oil to this because when you put it in the jar make sure um, you have a good amount of oil because that is what is going to preserve it okay that is going to help with the preservative I will do um, a demonstration for you guys all right guys, so I'm putting the shito into my storage container. So, there, so there, all right, this is how uh, much I fill it. And then for the top, I just add the grease. So I just add the, no grease, I just add the oil. oil, okay? Just add some oil. And that is going to help preserve it to keep it longer. All right, you can keep it in the fridge, like I said, if you have the, enough oil on it you can this thing can be in the fridge for like a year you can keep it in the fridge for up to a year okay <laughs> shit shit. all right guys so this is the shit this is how to make Ghana shit on my way okay I hope you enjoyed uh, making this recipe with me and my <coughs> excuse me with me and my sister um, you can always do three things for me comment like share subscribe it's more than three things okay all right so I hope you enjoyed this okay have a fantastic day, guys. I really appreciate the love and support that you have shown me, okay? Until we meet again, right here on Stellar Zone. Stay blessed, and this is my little.